everybody. It's Grandma Jean from Noman Backyard. We're going to have a little cooking session today. And what we're going to make is summertime, and we're going to keep the cooking easy. So, we know you like to fire up your grill, make salads, and today we're going to try Grandma Jean's style Texas wiener sauce. It's very good. And it can be used to put on wieners, hamburgs. I even put a little bit of it on my mashed potatoes. So let's get started. Now, first of all, I have put in, I'll read you the ingredients. All right, here's what we're going to need. Uh, a pound or better of 85% uh, or higher hamburg. One large onion diced. A quarter teaspoon of salt, and you can add pepper to your taste. We're going to have one teaspoon of oil, which I have already put in the pan. One regular can of Hunt's tomato sauce. One small can of tomato paste. And you're going to mix that with two and one half cups of water. We're going to have two teaspoons of chili powder one teaspoon of cumin, one quarter cup of ketchup, one eighth teaspoon of crushed red peppers, one half teaspoon of paprika, one quarter teaspoon of oregano, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. Now you notice we've used a lot of spices and it really, really comes out very good. So I put in my teaspoon of cooking oil. And I'm going to take and add, I've already diced my large onion. And we're going to take our hamburg. This is actually 88% hamburg. It's very lean, very, very nice. All right. Around a little, and then we're going to take our hamburg, and we're going to take and break it up, and put it in our pan. All right, now our hamburg and our onion is cooking. Now we want to get it nice and light brown. Get all this redness out of your hamburg, and it will be nice and firm. And then we will add the other ingredients. Okay, I want to show you the hamburg now. It's all nice and firm. It's done. So it's ready to have, there's no redness in it. Notice? Now, it's ready to add the tomato paste. Now remember, it was one can of tomato paste with two and one half cans of water mixed in. So we're going to put that in there. And now we're going to add our tomato sauce. Oh my goodness. We're going to have a really, really nice amount here. Put our tomato sauce in there. And we'll just stir it around a little. Now this has to be cooked down. And we are going to let this simmer until it's done. And it must be the right consistency that you want to put on your hamburger, on your hot dogs, your wieners. You don't want it runny. And we have a lot of hamburg in here. We put in almost uh, a pound and three quarters of a hamburg. So we're going to turn it down a little and let it simmer until it gets nice and thick that when it's put on your wieners, it's not gonna be sloshy. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients and we have a lot of spices and ingredients. I'm putting in our quarter cup of ketchup. Everything adds to the taste. We just mix that around a little. 
We're going to add our spices, our chili pepper and cumin, which gives it a marvelous flavor. Look at the darkness in it. Oh, oh it looks good already. Mm. And it has to be cooked down. I just like to sprinkle everything around here. You should know that by now. And this is our red pepper, our salt, and our oregano, and a little of paprika. So we put a little bit of everything. Let this simmer for an hour. And last but not least, we have our tablespoon of brown sugar. So we'll just sprinkle that all over and all of our ingredients will be in here. This is the consistency that I like for my wiener sauce. I don't like it too runny because then it just makes a mess and runs all over. So you will do it to your taste. Now we're going to try it and see how it turned out. I grilled my hot dog. I'm going to use a little Adelia onion on it, sweet onion. And I have also the wiener rolls. I will add a little bit of yellow mustard on our wiener, just a touch. And now we're ready to put our sauce on. And I do like a lot of sauce. So that's why I don't like the consistency too runny. I like to load it up with sauce. All right. Now it's time to try it. It's very tasty, very. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us today at our cooking session. Uh, don't forget to sprinkle. Gnome and Backyard, <clears throat> and also I have some very good salads <clears throat> that are waiting to go with your wieners. So until we meet again, don't forget to sprinkle, but sprinkle a little kindness along the way. Until then, take care.